Previously on X-Men. Right now on the KPIX 5 News at 7, streaming on CBSN Bay Area. South Lake Tahoe is a ghost town tonight, a far cry from earlier today. That's what it looked like when tens of thousands of people were all ordered out at one time ahead of the Caldor Fire. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. The fire now covers an area roughly the size of San Jose, Oakland, and San Francisco combined. In just the past 90 minutes, we've learned containment is up to 19%. More than 650 buildings are confirmed destroyed, and more than 18,000 are threatened in and around the resort communities of South Lake. Born free somewhere. Um, it's been a fucking gnarly 36 hours now. I think so. Coming on 48. 36, almost 48 hours. Um, so just to put you back where we were, um, born Sunday. free day two Sunday. It's Tuesday. Right yes. Um, we woke up. We checked the fire at that point in time, the Caldor fire. Um, <clears throat> wasn't a big deal. It wasn't threatening anything. And uh, so we were like, "Fuck it, we'll keep running it, keep going on our little vacation." Um, we met up with uh, Kelvin, Joel, and their ladies, um, team unaffiliated. I guess they're not really a team. Well, anyway, that's just... That's, <laughs> all right. We're gonna have to, There's gonna be a lot of editing here. Dude, I haven't had any sleep in the last 36 hours, so I'm like... I already forgot what I was gonna say. They invited us to breakfast, or we kind of invited ourselves. I forget exactly how it went down, but... So we're anyway, we're at breakfast. Then we decided to go to Born Free for day two because we had tickets for it. Um, grass passes still, and we were gonna ride in. We had our bike there and everything, and we were all set up. So we were excited to go back for day two to just soak up the last little bit. And so we did. We went, got there about 11 o'clock. Um, had the whole day. Oak Canyon Park, which is where Born Free is at, doesn't have good cell phone reception, like zero cell phone reception, basically. Um, so we were just having a grand old time walking around, filming and everything. <clears throat> then as we were leaving, literally as we were leaving, we get an alarming text. It's about 5, 5 p.m. And we get a really alarming text from um, some friends of ours in town and they were very concerned about the fire um so we left irvine california at about 9 p.m um got into south lake about 6 a.m uh we were able to get to our house <clears throat> we were still under evacuation warning at that point in time so we were still able to get to our house um, got to the house it was literally raining down ash and like ember like not hot lit embers but like charcoal briquettes they kind of looked like like really small pieces of briquettes and shit uh, pine needles that were like halfway burnt just all kinds of like it felt like we were in a movie 
So it's 6 a.m. We were packing our, all of our shit after driving all night. Uh, we got everything packed up as quick as we could. Did one final kind of run through the house. Um, and then decided instead of waiting for the evacuation order, we were just going to leave right then and there, which was probably like 8 a.m. Um, we That was a stroke of good luck because there was definitely an evacuation scare coming out of South Lake. Um, traffic got gridlocked and it was just a problem. And we didn't have any of that issue. So we drove all the way to Reno, spent the night in the motel. Um, overnight, some bicycles of ours were in the back of the truck. Those got ripped off the back of the truck. So we're now missing a couple of bicycles. Uh, we woke up this morning and found that out. Um, and then had a couple other like interesting things happening at the hotel. We then, I don't even remember, checked out of the hotel, got some food. Uh, if, well, anyway, yeah, this has gone on way too long. So hopefully that catches everyone up that's still paying attention to this shit. And uh, I just want to thank everyone that's been reaching out to us on social media, friends, family, people I haven't met, people I've met, people I've known forever, high school buddies, riding partners um, from all over the globe, pretty much. Um, we appreciate that so much. Um, 